Hi everyone, welcome back to the creative side. Today, let's talk about how you can start working from home as a creative virtual assistant. I first started as a virtual assistant way back 2016 when I was on my bed rest. I was a supervisor at the BPO company at the time, but I am not allowed to go back to work because of the complication in my pregnancy, so I need to stay at home. Of course, I still need to earn money because I was on bed rest at about six months of my pregnancy, so maternity leave won't really cover it. So I decided that it would be a good idea to work from home. I only have my partner's computer at the time, and I started applying without you know without experience i just created my resume from scratch and my portfolio and i got hired and started working at merely three dollars per hour if you are starting up just a tip i highly suggest you go for five dollars per hour and above this is for those that don't have experience of course if you have experience you should be charging more so far as a creative virtual assistant I've been a YouTube manager, a Pinterest manager, social media manager, graphic designer, YouTube video editor, a web designer and developer. I've also created printables for some clients, website funnels for subscriptions. This is for coaches mainly. And I've also became an Amazon and eBay sourcer and an eBay customer service. Now let's talk about how you can start being a creative virtual assistant. Number one, list down all your skills or the things that you know how to do. If you have no idea where to start, I highly suggest that you watch my first video about the apps and tools that you should learn as a creative virtual assistant. Aside from your skills, also list down all apps and software you've used before. So if you're a designer and you've used Adobe products, list them down. And if you've used productivity apps like Trello, Asana, ClickUp, write them down as well because it will give you an edge once you start applying for jobs. The purpose of listing down your skills is that sometimes we think low of ourselves. And if you don't have any experience yet, listing down your skills can help you identify the job you can do and how you can help your potential client then you will include these skills in your resume to give you an edge and also to be more confident in yourself. Sometimes we forget that there are certain things that we can do, but we don't add them to our resume or portfolio because we forgot about it. So list them down. Number two, equipment. You can't start working from home if you don't have an equipment clients will not provide this for you. If you already have a laptop that can handle heavy browser usage or can handle design apps, then awesome. You won't have problems at all. But if you plan on pursuing a job that would do heavy design works and may use Adobe products or video editors, then you may need to upgrade your equipment. Now, if you're still working and have a full-time job, find ways to purchase an equipment, like an installment maybe or start saving funds for your new equipment. But make sure that you do all your research before buying one so you won't waste your money. Number three, start creating your portfolio. Start creating your portfolio by creating sample designs. You should start by making social media posts, graphics, stories, posters, ads, YouTube thumbnails, Anything you can think of. It doesn't have to be for a real client. Just create sample designs to prove to your potential employers that you have the skill and that your skill fits what they need. Now you can start creating your portfolio in Google Docs or Canva. Or if you're an experienced designer, you can do it in Illustrator or InDesign. Don't forget to include the skills you've listed out in step number one. Once your portfolio is done, download it as a PDF file. Upload your portfolio on Google Drive, get the link, and include the link on your application. If there's an option to upload a file, then upload the PDF file. Number four, start applying. 
Now, once your portfolio is ready, you can start applying for jobs. The most popular websites to find VA jobs are at Upwork, OnlineJobs.ph, Indeed, and Virtual Staff PH. There are a lot of other websites where you can apply jobs for, but you can start with these ones. My suggestion is to send 10 applications per day. Use the skills you've listed as a keyword when searching for a job post, and then make sure to read the qualifications and follow the instructions indicated in the job posts. If it asks you to send an email, make sure that the email is formal and that your resume or portfolio is attached. Number five, check your email every day. Once you start sending out your applications, always check your email. If you've applied through Upwork or online jobs, make sure to check there every day. In Upworks, employers would usually send you a chat. You don't want to miss it. When an employer replies to your application, there is a huge possibility that they like your portfolio and they are considering you for the job and they want to know if you're a good fit for them. And then number six is never stop learning. So you've already applied for a job and you've been checking your email every day. Some employers won't respond right away. So while you're waiting for a response from the jobs you applied for, continue learning other tools. Familiarize yourself with the apps and tools that may be helpful in your creative virtual assistant journey. Watch YouTube videos and enhance your skill as a future virtual assistant. If there's an opportunity to apply for a paid training, then grab this opportunity while you're waiting for a response from an employer. In conclusion, for you to start working from home as a virtual assistant, you have to number one, list down your skills and all the tools that you know. Number two, make sure that you have an equipment. Number three, start creating your portfolio. Number four, start applying for jobs. Number five, check your email every day. And number six is never stop learning. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something from this video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to be updated on my next video to help you jumpstart your career as a creative virtual assistant.